Taurus, what's good? It's Magic D Magician Tarot. Like, share, subscribe below. Let's go. Here's what we're going to do. Two decks. We're going to do a general. December 14th through the 16th. All right. First thing we're going to do is Spencer's Tarot. Really nice. Really crazy. Holographic. I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> this is going to be for the next 48 hours. December 14th through 16th. And this is Magic D. Let's get into it. We're going to hit it with the Magic Mondays. Or the Mystic Mondays. On oh, Magic D. <clears throat> right after this. Okay. Probably do like a nine card spread. Let's keep it organized for you, Taurus. Alright, the Empress here. Very interesting. You're feeling quite positive today. You're feeling in control, but also you have your focus on manifestation. Okay. Got the King of Pentacles in the reverse with the Leprechaun. Part of you feels maybe you're lacking some play in your life. You have a little bit of a lack of motivation right now. You could be feeling stagnant. Okay, seven of wands here. With the mummy. <clears throat> there could be something plaguing you. It's almost like a curse of you having maybe some competitive exchanges with people or rubbing people the wrong way or they're rubbing you the wrong way. You could be feeling like stuck in a loop of that right now. Okay, there could be a fellow earth sign in your midst. It could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, very tempting to you. Still also a thorn in your, I wanted to say a thorn in your side, but also a thorn in your mind. It could be somebody that is a not so distant memory because you're tied to them. The three of wands here in the reverse. Uh, you just couldn't make things work. Possibly somebody that you could have been married to. You're now divorced or you're split up from them if you were not married. Okay, and then nine of pentacles here. Yeah. Coming out the other end of it much more responsible, but mostly independent. Like for some reason I said responsible, but like maybe you had some hard times where you could have made decisions that were a little bit more responsible. Maybe regretting it now with the hermit here. It's a Yeti. That's so cool. Okay. So you have the hermit card here, which is a Yeti. It was appearing in the reverse. This is telling me that you're definitely craving more alone time. A lot of the signs right now that I've been doing the past couple readings that I did, this is a theme. I'm not really sensing that it could that it's a Virgo, but at the same time, maybe it is. Like for a small percentage of you, you could be missing a Virgo. Could have just gotten out of a relationship with a Virgo. Very specific as well. Hmm. Nine of Cups in the reverse. This could be referring to you and your sentimentality towards this person, if that's the case. But also there could be a water sign that you're thinking about. This person could be very masculine. They could be um, darker featured. Like they could have really, really dark hair, strong eyebrows, um, maybe a really nice physique. But overall, really emotional, overly emotional. You're interested in something about them, their development, their physique, their beauty. <clears throat> but you're at odds with them or they're not aware of you. Or you might be in a situation where you block them or they blocked you. Because something is amiss there with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Something is no longer an option for you, so blocked off. Alright, so. It's going to be a little hard to see, guys. But here's your water sign in the reverse. It's a gin. It's showing a dark genie here. Okay, then we got the Seven of Cups. It's the Nessie card. <clears throat> Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to do an overlay and figure out a little bit more about what's going on here with the Mystic Mondays Tarot. What is this non-option? We're going to start up at this corner over here with a water sign. Non-option with a water sign who's super attractive or is developing some, you could be developing a crush on them. 
to be developing a crush on you. But there's something there that's gone a little bit sour. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Either they, you no longer find them attractive based on something that they did, or you're somehow not inspired, or they're not inspired anymore to work on the connection and work on the relationship. Okay, could have been an air sign involved. There could be, if this is a family situation, this could be your parent. Because of this King of Swords here, I'm getting a very, like, masculine but more mature kind of vibe. This could be an, uh, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be a, definitely could be a man, old man, who... Maybe you knew this person when they were happy. <clears throat> really interesting. You knew this person when they were more personable. And something happened here that's beyond repair. Again with the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. What is this spirit of wanting more play here? Nine of Cups in the reverse. You're feeling unsure or a little bit insecure. Definitely emotionally a little bit out of whack. You're thinking about happier days before something bad happened. But at the same time, that bad thing had to happen for you to become independent, Taurus. So there is some need for cooperation and, and thinking about the happy times here and how to recapture it. But then you have this Nine of Cups here. You're saying that you miss your feeling of satisfaction. You almost maybe feel like you got kicked off of the high horse a little bit. Could have to do with work. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Um, somebody at work is being unfair towards you. But they think it's fair. In their mind, it's like bare minimum fair. So it's not like you're being like necessarily highway robbed. but Or like taken for... All that you're worth, but at the same time, they're really not acknowledging the other factors, the intangible factors that you bring to this place. And I'm now thinking it could be either like a workplace or it could be a family situation. You bring something there that is now being undervalued and you're like, yeah, you're over it. <clears throat> you want to speak up about it. You've thought a lot about it and in your judgment, you're thinking you're feeling justified in whatever you're... You're feeling justified in saying that you've done enough. But then you have an Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. Have you... In the reverse. Have they... Have you done enough to get away from them to a place where you're going to be more valued? Or have you done enough to get this situation to a place where you can feel more valued with the chariot? Beautiful. Okay. So I really love this. Some of you guys could be fans of the sword and sandal adventure genre you really love you love a good movie you love a good book you want that feeling and that spirit again and you want to take your emotional load and just you know throw it off but you really can't something is on your mind here and it could have to do with a job situation where you could have gone into a state of complacency maybe even early retirement maybe even skipping a step somewhere along the way where you could have gone the other way and pursued a more money-making adventure and you decided not to for what reason the wheel of fortune felt it was the wrong time hmm. you went with more immediate passions and immediate want and what you wanted was to take more vacations was to escape more was to maybe pursue a younger fire sign. This person could be a dancer. This person could be a more... You feel like this person really is a go-getter, goes after money, goes after things that you prioritized. Early in life, you might, could even look at this person as like a younger version of you, and then you have a Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah, so you're thinking of maybe two people that could be like, you could work with these people, they could be, you could supervise them, they could be your children. There's some sort of element where these people are a little bit like, 
they they make a pair to me okay so you could be thinking of a uh, son and daughter co-workers uh or a married couple that you're working with and whatever it could be <clears throat> and virgo had something similar to this so interesting there could be a couple that you're dealing with or a couple of people that you're dealing with one is a fire sign the other is also a fire sign but one is more male one is more female Okay, this person, you could think of this person, I'm now sensing like you could look down on this person a little bit more. This person, you hold in higher esteem. Who is this person to you? Somebody that you really would put a lot of trust in, invest a lot of time in, who you believe in, who you think. Okay, they are in a situation right now where they are in a stagnant state, like, so let's say you put all your eggs in the basket of this person's success, like they could have been a protege or you um, trusted this person at work in some way, but then they really didn't rise to the occasion. Or this could be, um, could be your brother, who could be a fellow earth sign. Interesting. This person could also be a brother who could be a fire sign. You could have a lot of a big family, Taurus. <laughs> And if not, then this is a work situation where you're kind of a boss or you're an elder statesman, so to speak, in your league of work. So people, no matter whether you're above them or not, they have, you have an authority over them in work or in a family hierarchy. Again, Knight of Wands, you have a lot of barriers up right now. You could be known for your barriers. You could be known for being obstinate. Okay, you could once again have been influenced by an air sign, could love an air sign, could really like have a part of yourself that's very pronounced, could be like, you know, some Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and some part of your personality where you're very biting, you're very sharp with your words, and once you say it, you say it. 12, 12 o'clock. Could be a birthday on the 12th. The Eight of Swords. Two cards here about having, you know, some pretty strong mental compartmentalization happening for sure. You could be being called to examine some past things and it, it could be time for you to do some pretty good soul searching and therapy about why you've cut off so many relationships and all the things that could have been left unsaid in those relationships that could be bothering you now. For sure. Right now with this Eight of Swords. I'm like totally blanking. Do this all the time. Yeah, alright. So there's some sort of self-restriction you're putting in place where you don't... 1313. You won't allow yourself to maybe apologize or go back to a certain path. And you could be totally right but there is some stagnation happening there in whatever this relationship is okay what i think we need to do is psychic tarot for the heart hold on Psychic Terror for the Heart, you need some guidance right now. Self-limiting beliefs. I'll tell you right now, it's just on my old cheat sheet here. Restricted action, indecision, censure, temporary illness even, weakness, a prisoner. You could be, I feel like, a prisoner in your own mind. Obviously, you have this figure here with the blindfolds on. Her hands are up. She's trying to travel to other times. I see these pyramids here as like her being like reflecting on old things that happened. But then I feel like back here we had, you felt justified with a judgment card. And with a ton of wands, you definitely had enough. But you have to find a way to move forward. So let's get a little bit of guidance here. For the John Holland Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Okay. 
listen in the reverse. Speak more, Taurus. You've been sitting back for a while now, probably stewing on what the right thing to say would be. Love abounds in the reverse. There's some love loss. You need to speak up about the hurt that you're feeling. There is hurt from a past situation with an air sign that is influencing this. And that's what makes me feel like it could be a family thing. Rest and reconsider. Okay, in the reverse, you already have taken enough time. You've rested enough on this particular situation. Success and growth is not happening right now. Same color if you see here, like how they just settled in. Solar plexus is blocked. Throat is blocked. Okay. Something is still burning inside you. That is what you need to focus on. What is your deep burning desire? Somewhere along the way, you did not, you stopped your own communication or for some reason it was blocked and then you blocked your own impetus moving forward with this solar plexus chakra here. Think Donnie Darko when he's like being propelled forward. That's your like, before you were anywhere, you are there with the power of your solar plexus. It gets you up. You have a... If you sit down and you think about that weird feeling you have before you actually, you're thinking, 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 do I want to get up and go get that? <laughs> I don't, snack from the fridge, whatever. What actually, the feeling you have right before that happens comes from the solar plexus area in the heart of the trunk of your body. It's like where your belly button is, you know? Whatever's burning in there, your deepest burning desire is yet unrealized. You can do it though, Taurus. All right, my phone is ringing right now. That means that when opportunity is coming to you, you need to answer it. All right, Taurus. Do says magic, magician, turn like, subscribe below.